example. And what actions? Um, that action I made it to copy over a new page and adjust the levels. Because every scan I make, let me scan it again. Every scan I make, um, I have to do the same thing. And you can make an action to save the, uh, the things that you do. So, for example, what I do is I create a new action. Let's name it for the stream. So this will be on right now. This record button, it means it's going to record every uh, step you take, even down to drawing with a brush um, on the canvas somewhere. We're saving. So what I normally do is uh, select all. So you see set selection. And if you open it, you will see the parameters, which is to all. So it selects the entire canvas. Watch this area, copy, close the documents. And even in the closed documents, it says saving. No, so the next, uh, it will remember to do this. And then new documents. It will also remember canvas size, make a new document. All the modes, resolution, pixel size, paste, levels. I use the same level value every time. Oh, right. 0.25 and 220. And this is, I, I know this from having tried it in previous pages. Um, it's not like a set value that will work for everything, but it, will, it works for my comic pages. And again, OK, and then it will set the levels action. And I stop the recording. And now, next time I scan, Next time I scan and I press this, I can press play and it will run all of these actions on this scan. So watch how it goes through. And then I'll end up with a new, basically identical um, version of uh, what I just did. And this is useful because every page I draw, I have to scan it and do the same thing. And uh, I can just scan four pages and then run this through four times and save five minutes. Or other actions that I have, like saving a single page um, to the web format, which involves like a shit ton of uh, steps. It turns my big page into something small like this. It adds a watermark. It saves different language um, languages. It has a blank one. One with English and one with Chinese, which I didn't uh, set. And then I have another action that will save three separate of these JPEGs to three separate folders. And this is phenomenally important because once I go through the entire book, it will be like 200 pages that I've just edited and I have to update the uh, websites with new versions. I don't have to sit here for two hours doing the same thing to every single page. I can just play these actions um, and let uh, Photoshop automate uh, the work. And another way to use actions, aside from pressing play, is to go here. Automate batch. You can set it to do this set action for the stream, um, action that I just saved to all of my open files. Or if you have like 200 files and you can't open it all at once, you can set it to do it to a folder of files. So um, again, for processing all 200 of my pages, it's very useful because I can't possibly open 200 fully toned 50 megabytes each um, high res 300 DPI, 400 DPI comic pages, my computer will explode. Um, but it will run through every file in that folder uh, once with the same action. And it'll make sure, make sure that I 
remember every step, like putting the um, watermarks and make sure that I don't make mistakes. Um, and it most importantly saves me a lot of time while I can like go walk off to get something to eat and while the computer does this work. So um, yeah, action is very useful.